Hey folks, how's it going? Chris here from Mod Extra Games and Collectibles. Welcome to my channel. It's another uh, on the floor carpet in my living room collector thought of the day piece for you. Now these are just short vids where kind of while I'm playing around with my figures, I like to get my man child playtime here. I like to sit on the floor and take photos and play with Rakondo today. Although he's got nothing to do with the thought that I wanted to talk about, the thought that I wanted to share. Uh, because what I wanted to talk about very quickly or kind of put out there and maybe get some opinion in the comments down below. Everywhere I go this last couple of days, I mean, literally everywhere I go, Discord, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, you name it, I'm seeing a lot of hubbub, a lot of hullabaloo about the new Marvel Legends PlayStation 5 Gamerverse Spider-Man that I think went up for pre-order earlier this week. And specifically, what I'm hearing a lot of talk about is the price, because it's gone up for, I think it was $34.99 when I had a look on Hasbro Pulse earlier today, which is roughly about 10 quid more than your average over-the-counter Marvel Legends. Like, uh, you know, when I when I buy my X-Men retro-carded figs or whatever, they're usually coming in at around 25 ish uh, With G.I. Joe Classified, uh, a little bit less, in fact. I get those for around 24 25 unless I'm buying them on import, which I tend to do now. So a good 10 quid or there or thereabouts more than the average figure, but not really offering more than the average figure. I suppose it's got some nice accessories with the... Uh, the webbing effects, but not really offering a great deal more. But uh, it's the commentary and the discussion and debate around it. People are obviously not very happy that it's more expensive, but it's currently sold out on Hasbro Pulse in the UK. It's a sold out figure, so people are paying that price. Uh, I've even seen comments uh, to that effect saying, yeah, well, you know, the price is as high as it is because fools like me will pay it. Uh, I've seen some speculation that there's an extra layer of licensing on top here that's pumping the price up. We, uh, there's always been this kind of a speculation that the Marvel Disney license piece was adding to the cost on Marvel Legends compared to Transformers and G.I. Joe, because Hasbro own those. And that's possibly true. And now we're throwing in like you know, PlayStation with their Gamerverse brand or whatever. Actually, the, the licensing thing is of particular interest to me because the um, NBA starting lineup all star basketball figures are super expensive. They caught my eye uh, because my son's a big basketball fan. Thankfully, I was going to get him one for Christmas, but they weren't going to arrive in time for Christmas, which sort of saved me from making a bad decision there, I think, because I don't think the figures are worth the price tag. But the justification for their price tag was also about the licensing, that it was the you know, the players own their own likeness, whereas in uh, like TV and movies, the likeness is owned by, you know, they can use the likeness for character merchandise purposes, whereas in the NBA, the, uh, the I think the agent's, deals the agency deals with the uh, teams and with the league are anyway i'm getting in the weeds but um yeah and then the sportswear and the equipment is all branded and blah 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 blah, blah and so that's all hiking up the price but i'll tell you what else has happened here in the uk this week that has been further food for thought when it comes to the price of marvel legends specifically there's been a retailer here called game that has let a lot of what is considered sort of deluxe prestige two pack new new deluxe prestige two-pack we're talking null and venom we're talking ned and peter from the movie uh we're talking mojo the big mojo you know all under like what six months old going for massive discount like 15 20 quid compared to the usual 50 55 which is really food for thought because you have to then ask yourself what the markup must be on these figures if they're able to even at clearance just clear them out of that price because they're not going to be operating at a loss on this, are they? I mean, are they that desperate to clear shelf space that they'd operate on a loss on this stuff? I mean, I'm not much of a Spider-Man guy, but um, so I did pay attention to the, neither the game stuff, because it was all kind of Spider-Man related except for Mojo, I suppose. Uh, and I'm not paying much attention to the Gameverse one, but I know there's a lot of folks who love Spider-Man and do collect a lot of Spider-Man stuff, so I get the pain, but they've paid it. They've paid the price. I've also seen some speculation uh, that the price is based on the secondary market value of an original version of this figure, which I think was from a couple of years ago, like the uh, the first game of first game, and um, maybe Marvel Legends marketing team, their research people have been out looking on eBay and going, wow, folks are paying a lot for the for the for uh, this one on the secondary market. When we bring the new one out, we can we can squeeze a little bit more out of them. And the, there's no denying, I mean, the, the picture, the vision of Hasbro was a kind of massive corporate greed machine um, that just sees us as walking wallets and purses and uh, the people between 
them and these wallets and purses are just barriers to barge the way through. It's like it's their money. We just hold it and they just need to get us to hand it over kind of thing. Uh, I don't think that's inaccurate. We've all seen the report and you know shareholder demands, better results and all this kind of stuff. And there's some interesting things going on on the Wizards of the Coast side. In fact, I might make another video about that and pop it out tomorrow because that's kind of connected to this. There's like a whole melting pot of stuff going on there. So I don't know what to think, really. I don't know what to think. I mean, I certainly uh, do somewhat vote with my wallet. The whole G.I. Joe classified thing going exclusive on Hasbro Pulse. I've stopped buying from Hasbro Pulse. I've been paying the extra money to get the impulse stock from the independent retailers. I'm definitely making choices about figures now to say, and particularly on the Marvel Legends side, like, now nah, if it's on the old book, I'm not buying it. I'm not, you know, no, enough is enough on that front. As far as I'm concerned, I'll wait for a better one. I'll wait two years, three years till they get around to doing it again kind of thing. Uh, but I don't vote with my wallet anywhere near as much as I should. Um, but there is definitely a thinking about voting with Wallet, which again, on the Wizard of the Coast side, yeah, I need to make that video too. So I tell you what, just for now, I'm just kind of reporting that there's a lot of hubbub about the Spider-Man thing. It's caught my eye. I don't really know what to think about price, but it's definitely, it's escalating. It's going to keep escalating through 2023. Um, and it's, it's a subject to watch and a discussion to get involved in. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Spider-Man, Gamerverse, PlayStation 5 Gamerverse is 35 quid, folks. Pfft, what's that all about?